Hello my friends, today I'm going to show you how to get amazing stars onto any night sky. My name is Olivio, I'm a professional designer from Vienna, Austria and I want to thank all of my patrons for supporting me and making these videos possible. Let's get started. So one of my students wrote me that he took a picture from night sky, it was a bit boring, he wished there were like really amazing stars and I'm going to show you how to make that happen. So. I downloaded another picture as you can see here with really cool stars on them. They are a little bit too high in contrast so we will fix that in the process. I can show you how to do that too and make it a little bit more dreamy from the atmosphere. So the first thing that we want to do is go back here and use our selection brush. And by the way, I selected a picture where we have a very easy horizon. It's just a line. If you want to see how to work with a more complex uh, horizon, I will link a video that I have created about sky replacement where you can see how to do it with a forest and stuff like that. That's sky replacement for the day, but the same technique for the night. So uh, let's select everything here with our selection brush. There we go. Come on select everything, snapping to our horizon, very nice. So I will click on refine and then on apply because here we don't have to do much more, very simple uh, technique in this case. And we want to click on the mask layer and this is going to create a mask for us. Command D on your keyboard to deselect uh, the selection we have done and then we pull out the mask because we don't want to have it on our picture with the boring sky we want to have it on our picture with the amazing sky and one trick i want to show you here is don't pull it directly onto the other picture because then when you resize this, the mask is also resizing instead what you want to do is select the layer and press ctrl g on your keyboard and this will create a group and then you pull in the mask above the layer that you want to use. There we go and you can see it's there. We have a little bit of mountains from the other picture but now I can simply zoom out a little bit and grab my other layer here, not the group but the picture layer and just resize it and there we go. The mountains are gone. Oh, Maybe we don't have to resize it that much. There we go, the mountains are gone, the sky is in the perfect place, we are ready to go. Now we do some adjustments because you can see that the mountains in the foreground don't fit the ambient light of the picture. So that's really important um, to take into account. So what we're going to do for that is um, two things. The first thing is I will set this to a blend mode so it blends with our original picture. In this case, I will set it to hard light and then I will duplicate this layer and I will rasterize it because this layer is in, um, how do I say, it's image mode, but we need it in pixel mode. So let's rasterize that real quick and then I'm going to set this to filter, blur and average and this will make an average of all the colors in the picture. You can see here when I go to normal, Everything now is just one color and this is the mix of all the colors in the sky picture. So now we can blend this with our um, picture. So let's go here and see, we're going to go with soft light and I will pull this down below our sky layer because the sky layer of course already has the color and you can see now that the mountains have the ambient light from all of the sky so this is more fitting. Another thing I want to do here because the sky is lighter in the middle and darker to the sides is I want to create a layer, a pixel layer. Uh, so click here at pixel layer and then use a brush. We want to set it pretty big. You can see here Pretty, dig, uh, pretty big diameter, uh, hardness to zero, <laughs> opacity 30% and we want to set the color to black. And now I can just brush on here a little bit so we make the sides of the mountains a little bit darker because of course it's nighttime so it's okay if they are dark. 
So there we go. But we already also uh, changed uh, the lightness of the sky and we don't want to have that. So what we're going to do is we're going to right click and duplicate our mask and then pull it down onto the layer that we just created. I will call this shadow. Shadow. It's not really a shadow, but it's like darkness. And then click again on the mask and go up here to layer and invert. So it's only affecting the mountains, not the sky. You can see here, this looks a lot better because it fits what we would expect the flow of the light to be. Okay, so now we have to do another thing and that is fix this kind of two high contrast sky picture. It's not kind of atmospheric enough for our taste. So what we're going to do is uh, again go to the sky layer and duplicate it. There we go. And rasterize it. Uh, where it is? There, there we go. Okay. And now what we're going to do is we go to effects, Gaussian blur, select preserve alpha. That's important. So the sides are not getting transparent and then just blur it. You can see you get a really nice look and you can blur it really strong. You can blur it just a little bit. So this is really up to your taste and up to how much of the details you want to preserve or uh, have highlights. So you see, if I, I if I blur it a little bit, there's details here. They still have a very strong light, but when I blur it a little bit more, these details lose a little bit in their um, light and contrast and everything gets a little bit softer. And another thing that I want to suggest to you in this case is um, go to a hard light, uh, sorry, go to the blend mode, which is hard light at the moment and play around with the different blend modes because you can see here uh, you can get really interesting really amazing effects and if something is too bright like for example here screen that's too bright but what you can do is you just reduce your opacity to an amount where you feel like okay this is the look that I want to have so there's a lot of freedom and artistic uh, playfulness in here so you can try out whatever you want in this case I want to go with 100% and hard light because I feel like this dark and intense look with the strong glow in the middle is kind of perfect for this situation. I really like it. Okay, so that was the tutorial on how to get a nice uh, star-filled night sky with a dreamy light and a nice ambient light on the mountain where we have the sides a little bit darker. Thank you very much for watching. Suggest topics in the comments if you want to and maybe subscribe to my channel. I do two tutorials per week. See you in the next video. Bye.